You may recall a month ago, I reviewed the Anycubic Photon Mono X. And at the end of that review, I was a little bit unsure whether I'd bought a dud or not. Well, stay tuned and I'll tell you what it's been like one month later. One month ago, the Anycubic Photon Mono X arrived in the Greedy 3D Man Cave and I unpacked it eagerly. And if you want to see my review up until this point, then, you know, there's the review. Just have a look in the library and have a look through it. But if you recall, when I'd finished that review, I had a, I had a few problems with it and I was not happy to recommend that you guys and girls spend your hard-earned Wonga on one of those at that time. I wanted to play with it a little bit more and I wanted to use it and I wanted to tweak and twiddle it and see what kind of results I was getting with it. So I've used it for a month now and I've used it religiously week in, week out, day in, day out. And I've put some uh, real time into it and I've put some um, serious amount of resin through the thing. And I've got to say, well, I did think I was buying a dud initially, but now, oh, it's really throwing out some fantastic prints. If I just take you back to when I first bought it, I had felt prints, including the actual test piece itself. The thing just froze on me uh, mid-print. I had to turn the thing off and on. It hasn't done that again. That was a, a one-off. Uh, and I had a failure after failure. I did tweak and twist the settings. And I'm going to put the new settings that I've used here. These settings have proved to be the turnaround for the printer. And I have had print success after print success. And I'm going to show you now a couple of the models that I've done that I've had a really good success with. And also I've rammed the build plate. Um, I've had very few failures. I have had a couple of failures. Let's be honest. You're always going to get failures with a printer. You know, nothing is 99 to 100% perfect. But on the whole, I'm getting reasonable, decent, high quality prints time after time after time. I'm sure you'll agree. Looking at the quality of those of those models, and, and as a bit of a plug for Greedy 3D, if you want to see the making of those, there are videos in the library, so just check them out. Um, but you know, I would say that I'm getting uh, I'm happy with the I'm happy with the printer. And now I'm at a stage where I can turn around to you guys and say, I do recommend you get it. I do recommend you spend your hard-earned Wonga on one of these printers. I bought this from Amazon. It cost me nearly 400 quid, 380 pound, I think it was. And I wouldn't advise you guys to buy that printer if I wasn't happy with it. I wouldn't do that. I haven't been giving it as a freebie. I've had to spend my hard-earned money on it, and I wouldn't want you to spend your money on it unless I thought it was a reasonable way of spending your money. Now, the other positive I found with it is I did buy a, a Green Tree Tech uh, flex plate for it which i've already got on my saturn but i found that the build plate itself has been excellent uh, things have stuck to it like glue and when i tried to get them off they've just popped off uh, i didn't need the flex plate on it now if that changes with a little bit of wear and tear if i if I, things end up getting welded onto it then yes i'll put the flex plate on there but at the moment i'm not going to bother because everything is working fine I say it's working fine. The Wi-Fi dongle, oh, that that is pretty much a waste of time. That worked for a while. It told me where my print was in the process and when it was finished. But after a short time, the whole thing crashed and, and I've had to reinstall it to get it working again. It's crashed again. It's really not reliable. So the Wi-Fi side of things was a bit pants. But apart from that, you know, that's quite a nice new initiative. Perhaps they'll sort that out moving forward. So in conclusion, one month later, yes, I recommend you get it. Amend the settings away from factory settings. I've been using the Anycubic resin. I've had no real dramas with that at all. It's been absolutely fine. It's £25 for a kilogram from Amazon. It's been cheap. It's been really, really good quality. I've amended the settings to match that resin and everything is working absolutely fine. So yes, Greedy 3D gives you the thumbs up to go and buy yourself an Anycubic Mono X. Um, fantastic printer. Absolutely love it. Now, I just want to point out here, I haven't been given that printer. It wasn't a freebie. I haven't been given it as a, as a review piece. I've bought that with my money and I'm happy to tell you, spend your money on it. It's a really good printer. I'm loving it. Don't forget to tune into the next episode of Greedy 3D. At the next episode, there will be a giveaway because don't forget, we've hit that 1,000 subscribers. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. If you want to buy anything, uh, paints, if you want to buy a printer itself, you can find the description of where to get it from, from Amazon in the description link. And that really would help because a little bit comes back to the channel if you buy through the Amazon affiliate link. But it doesn't cost you guys 
anymore. Um, hope you've enjoyed today. Uh, I hope you appreciate the fact that I haven't recommended it until now, and it has taken me a month to actually start to fall in love with the uh, the Anycubic Mono X. And um, stay tuned for the next video. Enjoy your Mono X, get your hands in your pockets, and spend your wonga. Thank you.